This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Hello friends, welcome to today's chemistry class. Today I am going to teach a chapter equilibrium. So this is the last chapter in part A. Okay, so the name of the chapter is equilibrium. Um, in this chapter, uh, we are going to study some of the topics and uh, these are, I will uh, explain you in detail about the topics. These are the contents. Okay, so first one is equilibrium in physical process equilibrium in chemical process dynamic equilibrium law of chemical equilibrium and equilibrium constant homogeneous equilibria and heterogeneous equilibria next applications of equilibrium constants relationship between k q and g factors affecting equilibria ionic equilibrium in solution and the next is acids bases and salts ionization of acids and bases and uh, buffer solutions solubility equilibrium of sparingly soluble salts so these are the topics i will cover in this chop chapter so before going to uh, teach about all these concepts i am going to give a brief introduction for this chapter so first uh, the name of the chapter is equilibrium and uh, now i want to what is uh, i want to explain you what do you mean by equilibrium state okay then what is equilibrium mixture dynamic equilibrium and chemical equilibrium first i want to explain you what do you mean by equilibrium state okay so consider chemical equilibria are important in numerous biological and environmental processes for example chemical so for example, equilibria involving oxygen molecules and the protein hemoglobin play a crucial role in the transport and delivery of oxygen from our lungs to our bodies. You know, right? Hemoglobin play a very important role in the transport and delivery of oxygen from our lungs to our muscles. Okay. So, simil similar equilibria involving uh, like uh, this is of oxygen like hemoglobin which uh, uh, oxygen will uh, transfer uh, oxygen molecules equilibria involving oxygen molecules and the protein hemoglobin so hemoglobin so all uh, the it will passes from uh, it is transport and delivery of oxygen from our lungs to muscles similar equilibria involving carbon dioxide carbon this is monoxide okay monoxide molecules and hemoglobin account for the toxicity of the carbon monoxide so when a liquid evaporates in a closed container molecules with relatively higher kinetic energy escape escape the liquid surface into the vapor phase and the number of liquid molecules from the vapor phase strike the liquid surface and are retained in the liquid phase it gives rise to a constant vapor pressure because of an equilibrium in which the number of molecules leaving the liquid equals the number of returning to liquid from the vapor we say that the system has reached the equilibrium state at this stage okay so when consider the container so this is the container where this is a liquid okay so it is in a closed container molecules with a relatively higher kinetic energy escape the liquid surface into the vapor phase so liquid surface this is the liquid surface which uh, this is the closed container so which will be into the vapor phase okay and number of liquid molecules from the vapor phase strike the liquid surface and are retained in the liquid phase some of them are in liquid phase some of them are in vapor phase it gives rise to a constant vapor pressure because of an equilibrium in which the number of molecules leaving the liquid equals the number returning to liquid from the vapor we say that the system has reached the equilibrium state at this stage okay next the mixture of reactants and products in the equilibrium state is called an equilibrium mixture what do you mean by equilibrium mixture the mixture of the 
the mixture of reactants and products in the equilibrium state equilibrium in the equilibrium state is called an equilibrium mixture mixture okay so this is equilibrium mixture then what do you mean by dynamic equilibrium what do you mean by dynamic equilibrium equilibrium can be established for both physical processes and chemical reactions the reaction may be fast or slow depending on the experimental conditions and the nature of the reactants when the reactants in a closed door vessel at a particular temperature react to give a products the concentrations of the reactants keep on decreasing while those of products keep on increasing for some time after which there is no change in the concentrations of either of the reactants or products this stage of the system is known as dynamic equilibrium i think so. have you understood this one equilibrium can be established for both physical process and also chemical reactions the reaction may be fast or slow depending on the experimental conditions and the nature of the reactants okay when the reactants in a closed vessel at a particular temperature react to give products the concentration of the reactants keep on decreasing so the here some this is the reactants these are the products okay so when the reactants in a closed vessel at a particular temperature react to give a products the concentration of the reactants keep on decreasing while those products keep on increasing for some time after which there is no change in concentration of either of the reactants or products so where the products also increases in the product size but at after some time so they will be equal the concentration of either of the reactants or the products are equal so this stage of the system is called dynamic equilibrium okay next uh, what do you mean by chemical equilibrium based on the extent to which the reactions proceed to reach the state of chemical equilibrium they may be classified in three groups so chemical equilibrium are classified in three groups chemical equilibrium which is classified in three groups the first one the reactions that proceed nearly to completion and only negligible concentration of the reactants are left in some cases it may not be even possible to detect these experimentally the reactions that proceed please note down the first point the reactions that proceed nearly to completion and only negligible concentration of the reactants are left and the second point is the reactions in which only small amounts of products are formed and most of the reactants remain unchanged at the equilibrium state okay the, whatever the reactions occurs in which only small amounts of the products are formed so these are the reactants and these are the products means only small amount of the products are formed okay and most of the reactants remain unchanged at equilibrium stage okay next the reactions in which the concentration of the reactants and products are comparable then the system is in equilibrium so we are doing the comparison between the reactants and products what concentrations of reactants and products so the comparable when the system is in equilibrium we are comparing so this is the third one some important aspects of equilibrium involving physical and chemical processes are dealt in this unit along with the equilibrium when there is a equilibrium involving ions in aqueous solution which is called as ionic equilibrium so another one there is a ionic equilibrium ionic 
ionic equilibrium what do you mean by ionic equilibrium when there is a, in the reaction there is a involving of ions equilibrium involving ions equilibrium involving ions in aqueous solutions in aqueous aq aqueous solutions which is called as ionic equilibrium okay next come to the topic equilibrium in physical processes the characteristics of a system at equilibrium are better understood if we examine some physical process the most familiar examples are phase transformation processes so in here what happens phase transformation means from solid to liquid or from liquid to solid okay then liquid to gas or gas to liquid or solid to gas or gas to solid so this is the phase transformation processes so this is equilibrium in physical processes okay next solid to liquid equilibrium what happens in solid to liquid equilibrium solid means consider ice and water are kept in a perfectly insulated thermos flask no exchange of heat between its content and the surroundings at 273 kelvin okay and the atmospheric pressure are in equilibrium state and the system shows a interesting characteristic features you just observe what is the interesting term it is obvious that ice and water are in equilibrium only at particular temperature and pressure for any pure substance at atmospheric pressure the temperature at which the solid and liquid phases liquid phases okay are at equilibrium is called the normal melting point or normal freezing point of the substance the system there is a, here is in dynamic equilibrium and we can infer the following so here see ice and water are in equilibrium only at a particular temperature and pressure for any pure substance at atmospheric pressure the temperature at which the solid and liquid phases are at equilibrium is called normal melting point what is normal melting point i will write here the temperature at which for any pure substance at atmospheric pressure at atmospheric pressure the temperature at which the solid and liquid phases are at equilibrium is called the normal melting point okay so or a normal freezing point of the substance the system here is in dynamic equilibrium and we can refer the following both the opposing process occur simultaneously the first one is both the opposing processes Occur simultaneously. 
simultaneously the next is both the process occur at the same rates so that uh, the amount of ice and water remains constant both i will write here the second point both the process okay at the same rate so that the amount of ice ice and water remains constant okay next liquid wave so this is about the solid liquid equilibrium okay about solid and liquid equilibrium so write down the two points 